Hi everybody and welcome back to another video on Beetle Knees Plays. Today I'm looking at Euro Truck Simulator 2 and having a play on this and I've already set a job up so let's go into um, our menu and as we can see here it's a World of Trucks job and we're taking some forklifts and we're going from Bremen in Germany to Gothenburg in Switzerland sorry not Switzerland Sweden I should say and uh, the job income is 19,276 British pounds so let's get back outside into the truck and there's my wife as ever there old Megan and if we have a quick look outside and it's absolutely chucking it down this is where we are currently nothing too exciting I suppose at the moment and it's going to be quite a long journey this so we'll crack on with it and we also need to get some sleep as well and let's just have a look on the map and see uh, yeah there's a sleep place there so let's stick that on the sat nav as well and Away we go. So let's crack off. Need to get our wipers on. I'm just trying to find the automatic one actually. Right, so that's off. That should be automatic, I think. It's actually assigned to my D-pad because I'm using a controller. And by the way, I'm on GeForce now. Um, Turn left. On the RTX 3080 tier. Keep left. Oh, gone a bit too far there. Just managed to save that. And uh, yeah, I'm using an Xbox gamepad as well. Just so you know. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a humdinger of a day at the moment. Let's hope it clears up a little bit. Although, you know, it's a nice effect, the rain, to be honest. It really is. Especially with that mod I'm using, the cold rain mod. And as you can see, I'm getting rather desperate for sleep. The screen's starting to black out on me a little bit just thinking actually I think we'll pop in here and get some fuel while we're here in this fuel station company's petrol station or fuel station whatever you want to call it by uh, by the name of Gob so there you go I could think of better names well, the salesperson's not gobby, at least. Anyway, let's get filled up. Yes, I know, I'm getting tired. So for anybody that doesn't know, when you start to get tired, uh, the screen starts to start getting dark and eventually if you leave it too long the screen will go totally black and you won't be able to control your truck so you need to start to find a sleep area really as soon as you can otherwise you will end up having a crash which I have done on many occasions but sometimes it is a little bit difficult to uh, to find a place where you can actually get some sleep. Sometimes they are a little bit few and far between. 
And so you, you haven't really got any option at that point. Oh, lights are green. Come on, let's go, go, go. Now, where's our sleep place? Is it on the left, isn't it? Let's get over. Ah, stopping raining now. Get ready to turn left. And just going back to the rest, that bed, so at the top, that's actually a mod, what I've got at the top. It's giving me information because I don't like to have my sat nav hood visual because uh, it spoils the view for me and makes it less simmy so ooh, took that nice wide guy. and it, yeah it just gives you uh, some information and that the red bed in the middle is uh, telling me that I need to get some rest somewhere now, having said that, I have no idea where you get rest in this compound. Is it? Yes. Is it round? You know, that's where I'm picking. That's where I'm picking the actual trailer up from. I thought I was going to the uh, the rest area. The rest area is over there, isn't it? If you look on my sat nav, you can see that blue bed. Right. So we're going to have to go there. We'll pick these up first. Then, in that case, and get over to the rest area after this going into a bit of an angle here but we may oops wrong button we may just do it no too much of an angle totally messed this up let's adjust our position again and I know some of you might be saying, why don't you use your mirrors and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, there's different ways of doing it. I tend to like to just stick my head out of the window and do it that way. It's whatever you find works for you, really. Now, much as I have bantered on in my other videos about using the gamepad as much as possible to play my games, and not a steering wheel, you do occasionally have to use a key keypad or keyboard on GeForce Now with some of the because the the are PC games effectively, and uh, being PC games, a lot of them require keyboards to play. Mm. So. That's why it came up with the letter T there to tell me to press the T key to attach the trailer to the truck. And there's that many different things that need setting up on. Uh, I've got a violation already. 135 pounds. I need to get this sleep. But yeah, there's that many different uh, things you can do. You, you just haven't got enough combinations on a game controller to be able to do them all. So you do need uh, a Bluetooth. I mean, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard. It, it works absolutely fine. So, right, where's this sleep place? It's down on the... to the right of us, isn't it? So we need to turn right here. No, just before we go, let's just pop outside and let's have a look at what the trailer looks like. So there we go. It's perhaps not the best spot to have a look, but... So there you go, we're carrying four forklifts, aren't we? So, let's get back in and let's get out of here. Turn right. And then, yeah, we're going to stop over this side. Another sleep violation. Now, how do I get to this sleep place? It's coming up on the left up here is it this next turning I think isn't it so let's go into here and hopefully we've got a fair amount of room to turn around yeah it looks like we have so let's go and get some sleep
Reroute. Well, I'm going to the one in the corner, and it'll give me a little bit more room to swing the truck round afterwards. Although it's still a little bit tight, though. Okay. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. We're now in the night time. In fact, what time is it? It is 21.57. So, for the sake of the video, let's just have another sleep. And let's get back into some daylight. Now, that does mean that... Uh, that, by the way, driver Mads up there. He's, I have got somebody working for me. Uh, we'll have a look at that at the end of the video, if I remember. Uh, just to show you a little bit about that, because I've not been playing this game that long. I mean, I've put a fair few hours in already, but not been playing it for years and years like a lot of people have. And uh, I just managed to get an extra truck and uh, set somebody else on to work for me. So that little message at the top there was just telling me that he's just earned me some money, which is good. So, right. Oops, I didn't want to do that. didn't want to do that. <laughs> no, don't believe it. Oh, well. We'll have to go with it now won't we ah let's get the engine started and let's get out of here now in actual fact may just have to back this all the way out or will I can I turn it round Ooh. I might be able to go forwards now. Let's have a look. Ooh, can we make it? Well... I'm probably just cheating a little bit here, but it is quite a bit of a turn. If we can just get past this pole and... Oh no, I've got my truck caught. I've got my truck caught. Tell you what, let's get to an external view and let's see what's happening here. Yes, yeah, some of these compounds are so tight, they really are. Kind of not entirely sure how to sort this out, if I'm honest. Let's let's see if we can get back round to the left, and let's see if that works. I'm just going to back up here, and then take a nice big sweepy circle. Oops, a bit too quick there. Okay, we've cleared that. Let's get back inside. Just take a nice big sweep. Right, we've managed it. I know it's a bit unorthodox, but, you know, I'm not a professional truck driver, and I'd rather get out on the road, if I'm honest. So apologies to all the sticklers for doing it in the correct way, but, you know, it is as it is for me, unfortunately, for you people. Right, hopefully we are on our way. So 790 kilometers to find my way out here, aren't I? Ah, he's letting me go, thank you very much. Is he cleared? Yes, he has. What do we like from the left? We're fine up there, so 
Okay. Thank you. Go straight on. Go. It's a lovely day now. Now this game, Euro Truck Simulator 2, was one of the reasons, the main reason actually, why I started uh, using GeForce Now. Uh, because GeForce Now just basically uh, allows you to play PC games uh, without a PC. And I have to, I can't praise the system enough to be honest. I think it's a brilliant service. Uh, but yeah, this game was one of the main reasons I decided to go that route because so I've been wanting to play this game for ages, and I just think it's an absolutely fantastic game. Really, really enjoy playing. It's really relaxing. It's very realistic. And you know, even just the base game without any mods is great. But if you start adding right. mods as well into the mix, a bit fast there, uh, it becomes absolutely brilliant, really awesome, actually. So yeah, I absolutely love playing this game. Now I've got American truck sim actually as well, which I've not done too much on. Oh, I don't need to move over there, do I? And to be honest, oh, yes, I do. I do need to move over. To be honest, I probably find that I wouldn't enjoy it perhaps as much as Euro Truck, and I'm sorry to uh, disappoint any of our American friends out there, but. The reason is, is from what I've played of it up to now, there seems to be a lot of very long straight roads uh, with not a lot happening. And I just found myself just getting a little bit bored. Um, the thing about Europe is it's because it's so built up uh, and there's more history behind it and, you know, going back in history you'll find that a lot of roads are built from what were originally perhaps even footpaths uh, which became tracks which then became lanes and then became bigger roads not all roads obviously but that's how a lot of the roads started and so you tend to get a lot of narrow twisty roads in Europe but you don't tend to get that in America and That's uh, that's just a bit of an issue for me. Uh, some of the some of the trucks, having said that, uh, look absolutely brilliant. They, they, they really do, and the sound that you get from the trucks as well. Uh, but it's just the the areas that it covers, and I mean, I haven't played an awful lot of it. I'll admit, and there may be some areas that are better than others. So I am talking a little bit blind. Uh, and I will have a look at it more in the future. Uh, but just for now, I'm really enjoying Euro Truck Sim. Now, what's the speed of me? 80, so let's just get up to near that mark and we'll set the cruise control. So it's on 79 at the moment, which is fine. We'll just get to have a peek outside as well and then exit right. slow it down we know I'm not very good at driving from an outside in fact we'll get back in so I need to follow the sat now let's just get this bit Go sorted out first so we're going straight on once we get on a straight road I will Go back outside for some more 
views of the outside world. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, I, I like to have the sat-nav normally set to minor roads because you really do get off the beaten track and um, it's it's a lot more visually striking, some of the areas that you cover. It's a bit more awkward, the journeys take a lot longer. Now that's that can be a good thing, can be a not so good thing on a journey like this which is nearly 800 kilometres. Uh, and doing a video of it, it's not something I oops, want to keep left, don't I? It's not something I particularly wanted to do because the video will probably be long enough. But uh, if anybody wants me to to cover a really long journey like that, then please let me know in the comments. And just talking about that, just briefly, if you are enjoying the video and you want to see more of them and videos of other games as well, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And it would be very much appreciated. Uh, so we are at 80 again. Is that 80? Yes, it is. It's just gone red at the top of the screen, so we'll just settle down at 80. There we go. Or oh, 78. That'll do. And let's get that look of the outside, like I said last time. Oops, just drifting a little bit. There we go. Just get it in a straight line, just have a little pan round. Keep right and then turn right. So get back in the truck again, we can't seem to get on a nice straight road, can we? Turn to get some right. nice outdoor shots. Tunnel. My dog's head's bobbing away. Still an eighty speed limit, so let's get past this lot. get the speed back up to 80 and we'll stick the cruise control on. The one thing that particularly impresses me with this game, amongst a lot of other things, is the smoothness of the steering. I, I think for a driving game on a controller, this has got to be by far the best control that there is on a driving game it's it's really I, I just can't explain if you haven't done it if you've always used the steering wheel or you haven't played the game it, it really does work well on a controller really good I mean, you can see how smooth I can keep the steering there if you, if you really want to play you know, properly and not not ju you know like some some people when they play driving games, it's it's kind of like this type of thing. But you you really can be smooth with the steering. And as I said, it's by far the best game I have ever played. With the the level of control you've got on that steering. Now I did have to adjust the settings a little bit and I have done a, a settings video if you want to take a look at that on the channel. I'll see if I can remember to put a description at the... Uh, sorry, uh, put a description, I'll, I'll put a link in the description I should say uh, and also at the end of the video for anybody that wants to watch that particular one. So yeah, I did have to tweak the settings, perhaps turned the sensitivity down slightly on the steering. 
and there's other settings there as well but but yeah it's i i can't i can't say too much about it it, it really is that good but the other things on the game as well you know like the the, the sunset that we're starting to get now and the god rays just coming through there when i turn the camera it's just drifting again there's so many positives about this game for me so many positives and so few negatives there really are it's by far one of the best driving games if not the best i've ever played in actual fact i, I will go so far as to say that How far have we got to go now? 561 kilometres. Now I may have mentioned this before about the AI, but it's perhaps one of the slight negatives in the game uh, with the AI. They, they do sometimes pull out on you, uh, they don't stop at junctions, and you know the kind of thing. That's in a typical game like this. Oh, lovely, uh, lovely bridge coming up here. Let's see if we can get get it straight. And oh, we're going to have to move out, aren't we, to keep our speed up? It's very, very busy at the moment. I'm just trying desperately to get outside to get an external shot. And there we go. Keep the truck straight. If I can move back to the left. But yeah, the AI uh, does have its faults. Having said that, it's also like the rest of the game is some of the best I've seen uh, or experienced because you do get situations where they will let you out and if you have your full beam on or high beam if you want to call it that the traffic coming the other way will flash you to tell you that you've got your your high beam on and if you put your hazards on to do a manoeuvre in the road uh, other traffic will stop for you to allow you to perform that manoeuvre so as much as there are some faults with the AI there are some really good things about the AI as well so if they could just iron out and I, I know the, the game's been out a number of years now you, you think that if, if it could could be ironed out or if they wanted to I fully iron it out then it would have been done by now but if they could just get the, the silly decisions that they make sometimes on pulling out having said that it is a it is a very realistic sim in, in many respects and, and perhaps you know you know these sorts of things happen in real life don't they? the traffic pulls out in front of you and you have to be aware of that and make sure that you can stop in time so you know it's it's it, it could be that they've just left it there because that's that's like real life is I suppose in the real world lovely sunset now lovely sunset over to the left there four hundred and seventy seven k so it's counting down I'll just make sure I've got my lights on which I don't think I have I think I've got the side lights on but not the dipped headlights so that's it otherwise we'll be getting fined for that
Oh, that's, that's the one problem. You, you, I'm trying to uh, to sort of pan around to get you guys some shots of of where I am, and and then you start to uh, veer off offline. It's a little bit awkward. Yeah, you're getting a nice shot of the sunset there. Let's just pop outside a bit again, just while we're on a reasonably straight road. Try and keep it on a good line. There we go. But it's weird, isn't it, how different people like to play driving games. I, I've never been particularly great. Well, <laughs> I've never been particularly great at a lot of driving games anyway, especially racing games. Uh, not bad, but, you know, never brilliant. There's people far better than me out there. But uh, I always like to play the games from inside the cockpit now a lot would probably say well you know it's a sim game that's how really you should be playing it in fact you should be in within the cockpit a hundred percent of the time I suppose if you want it to be really simmy but but I also find it easier to judge when to turn at corners and bends I don't find it particularly easy when I'm outside of the cockpit. I find myself perhaps turning too early or too late and end up messing everything up. So you'll probably notice when I, when I move to an outside view, I can't seem to steer Keep right the, the lorry and then exit right. or the truck as well. Oh, well, I need to keep right here, don't I? Let me get back inside. Right. Sorry if anybody's there. Keeping the right, uh, left hand lane, I should say, just in case. Let me just slow it down. to the left hand lane, I think it's clear. It was probably quite a good idea to be honest uh, doing that number of sleeps that I had because well I'm saying that unless we get penalised at the end for being late but at least it's giving a good daytime into night time video which keeps the interest there it's oh, going a bit too fast there let's just bring it back down to 80 and we'll stick the cruise on there we go Three seventy K to go now. And we should have a ferry to go on, I reckon. From what I recall, if we're going over to Sweden from I can't remember what country we're going through now. My geography is terrible. Well, yes, we we should have to catch a ferry at some point. But 
But it, you know, if if truth be known, I, I would rather be on the more minor roads uh, because, as I said before, it is more scenic. But on a longer journey, it would just take hours. It really would. You can probably halve the time it takes by going by the best route on the sat nav. But if you're wanting a more scenic route, then the the minor road setting is by far the best for that kind of thing. So we're going to take off then. We'll get to the outside because it looks like there's a bit of a queue up ahead. Although the, it looks like there's a queue in the outside lane as well. Just like in real life, what can happen sometimes as well is you're just about to overtake somebody and they start to speed up. And that in real life that is really annoying. You see what's happening to this truck on the right of me now? That's exactly what I meant. Now when that there's nothing more annoying in real life, is there, when you're just about to overtake somebody and they start to speed up. And I'm sure they're not doing it on purpose, but it really is frustrating. Let's get back over then. Otherwise we'll be holding everybody up behind us. Oh, is he going off? That's good. Let's get back up to 80. Ninety-three k. Surprising on this game, though, and you think you've got a bit of a long journey to go, and it's surprising how quick you do get down it because the it's not it's not a one-to-one -one map scale. It's uh, it's about six to one, I think, or one to six, whichever way. You say it. It looks like I've sorted the traffic out. The uh, the two mods that I had running concurrently. Uh, I don't think they were working. I think they were working against each other because I was having traffic uh, like, like at this time of the, the of the night, five o'clock in the morning. It would have been really, really busy, extremely busy, like it was rush hour, and it just didn't seem right. And then in the daytime, there'd be hardly anybody about. So I think they were, they are two slightly different mods, I think, but I do seem to think that they were working against each other. So I've disabled one, and it does seem to be working a lot better. I mean, you look on the other side of the road, there's nothing there, which you'd expect it to be at this time of day. But it will start to become light soon, so let's just see if the traffic starts to build up as it gets more towards morning rush hour. I'll just 
just entering another tunnel here. We've got 212 kilometres to go. And look at the lighting in the tunnels. I love that. It's a little bit hypnotic. But yeah, like I was uh, saying earlier, let's see right. if the traffic gets uh, gets busy when it gets to rush hour. I'm interested to see how that works. Oops. Get off the rumble strip. So we need to keep right here. So right. Just ease the speed down a little bit. A little bit of brake, quite a sharp bend. Quite narrow as well. So we'll take a little bit of a wide sweep. Cancel that signal. Now where are we going here left? So we've got a gap to the right after that one, and he's turned off there, so let's go, go, go. Oops, went a bit too fast there. Let's just bring that speed back down again. Actually, I think I've got a little bit confused there, haven't I? I was thinking about it. It's not going to go into night time, is it? Because it is already night. Oh, so, sorry, it's not going to go into morning, I should say, because it's it's five o'clock in the evening, I think. The clock just... I find the clock a little bit confusing, because it doesn't tell you whether it's a.m. or p.m. So, yeah, we, we have just gone Go through the day, up. haven't we? And we've entered into night, so... Keep right, and then turn right. But having said that, then, if it's five o'clock at night... And I do apologise that I've not been right. keeping an eye on that at all. Uh, it should be busy now then in that case, so that, that may mean that the mod isn't actually working properly. Now where are we going here? We need to be catching the ferry here, so I'm just wondering where we need to be heading to. Get ready to turn left. Oops, I think I'm on the pavement turn a little left. bit there. So we're just in here, are we? And we can see the flashing icon over there. So let's just get over to there. Okay, so we need to be going to Gothenburg, I think it was. So okay, let's, let's find a new route. Embark over the ferry or over the sea, and we 
we're here in Gothenburg. So, although it is daylight now, so we've gone through. We've gone through the night in the end. Oh, parking brakes on, isn't it? No, it's still on. Thank you. No, it's still on. I'm pressing space as well. Well, I don't want to travel anywhere. I just want to go. There we go. Sorted it. Okay. Where are we heading now, then? Over to... Where actually are we heading? It's straight out of that gate ahead of us, isn't it? Turn left. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually here. Go straight up. Okay, so we're straight across. Nothing from the left. Nothing from the right. And over we go. How far have we got to go, by the way? Oh, just 51 kilometres, so that's fine. So yeah, at least, at least we have got some uh, some daylight now. So it's 5.24 in the morning now. Now, it does say Sunday, so it may not be that busy. I don't know how far the mod takes that, whether it includes the actual day as well as the time of day, I don't know. stutter there. Just get that occasionally on GeForce, just sometimes I don't know whether it's GeForce's fault or whether it's just internet traffic sometimes you just get a little stutter like that but it doesn't generally last for more than a couple of seconds and it's only very very occasionally It's one of the drawbacks of cloud gaming I suppose but Keep right and then exit right. My general experience of cloud gaming has been very good. And I do think it is the future, if I'm honest. Exit right. <clears throat> so, nothing to give way to. Yeah, yes we are. Good. Another nice bridge coming up. Let's see if we can get it straight and get some outside shots again. Oh. Just, oops. Ah, knew that would happen. Just trying to get a nice camera shot again. It's very, very narrow on this bridge though. There we go. Fingers and thumbs. Nearly again as well. Keep it straight, B. Keep it straight. Really awkward to do. Let's get back inside before I have another accident. Okay, so over to the right. Let's check the mirrors. Nothing over there, so we're safe to move over. Cancel the signal. Very, very near now. Just seven kilometres to go. Another tight exit. Turn 
and run. Okay, so nothing from the left, so fine to go. Just need to keep it tucked in. There is a vehicle coming. No, it's sorry about that, Mr. Bus. Quite a tight little turn that one, though. Now, looking at that traffic now, you see that that does look busier, doesn't it? It's 5:48 in the morning, so. Um, yeah, I will keep the mod settings as they are at the moment, and fingers crossed, I've sorted out the traffic problem. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. I was thinking it was in there for a moment, but it's a bit further up. Turn left. Oh, traffic's in our uh, sorry, traffic lights are in our favour. Get ready. So to it's turn not right. up there then. It must be the next right just here. Turn right. It looks like it is. Okay. You can see the icon over there. Ah, this looks like it's going to be quite an easy, an easy park. This one. He says. We'll just get over there slightly. Hopefully, it's all going to get into position. Why does it say skip park? I don't want to skip parking. Why is it saying that? I don't particularly want to skip parking, thank you very much. Oh, we're not quite in though, are we? Let's just go a bit further forwards. Ah, there we go. So, well, a bit disappointed that you didn't get to see my skills at reversing a truck. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> Perhaps next time. So, what have we done though? Travelled 705 kilometres and it's taken us just over an hour, an hour and four minutes. We've consumed 317.6 litres of fuel and we've done 46 World of Trucks contracts. So... Out of all that, then, we have 1,022 XP, and as we said at the start, we've got £19,276 for the job. And we're at level 20. So, there we go. Now, I was going to show you just quickly the truck manager section. So, I, yeah, I've got this... Uh, this other guy working for me, old Mads. There we are. And if I click on him, and what's he up to? Well, he's idle at the moment, is he? Total driven distance, yeah, he's done 4,500k nearly. Average profit per distance one pound seventy eight per k, and average profit per day seven hundred and fifty eight pounds. So that's what he's doing at the moment. He is on duty. Um. Yeah, it told you there that I've got two trucks, two drivers, and one trailer. So that's my other driver, and he, yeah, he's uh, he's bringing some, he's bringing the money in. 
so that's good and I'll, I'll get some more drivers when I can afford some more trucks but yeah anyway that's the end of today's video thank you very much for watching and as I said before please give me a big thumbs up or give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos and we will catch you on the next one so take care and we'll see you soon bye for now